I'm John Bowden. We're up to our second interview with Jeff Skunk Baxter. The first time we talked to him for, I think, about 20, 25 minutes. And he was open to another interview. He said he enjoyed the first one. And this time we talked for 90 minutes. We talked to Lou Graham on the same day for the same amount of time. In this one, we talk about how Tom Johnston and Patrick Simmons, really the glue of the Doobie Brothers right now, and the original sound of the Doobie Brothers, how they make it work, and why he wasn't on the cover of Stampede, Jeff Skunk Baxter, right after this. Patrick and Tom from the Doobie Brothers. To me, Patrick was the glue, but I don't know. I always said, well, Pat, when, you know, when, when Tom left and Michael came in, I, like I said a while ago, I always had Patrick, and I liked his songs an awful lot. I really had a great appreciation of him. But are those guys, why do you think those guys uh, uh, can still do it after all these years together? Because they're, they're, they've turned into, they've gone back to the, the old one. Mind you, Michael's with them for the tour. But um, what do you think that makes that relationship work so much? Well, I think Pat and Tom were friends, are friends. Uh, that's very helpful. Uh, there are a number of bands, which I will not name, where when they go on tour, everybody stays in separate hotels. They show up in different cars. They show up for the gig and then go back. I mean, I, OK, I suppose that's a dynamic, but it doesn't work for me. And I don't think it worked for works for Pat and Tom. I, I think that they're friends. And I also think that they have a bond for all the years that they spent together. And even when Tommy had to uh, bow out for a while, I don't think that changed their friendship. And I don't think that changed the, the, the musical structure and the musical interest and desire and vision that they had when they originally started. I mean, not to say that they weren't learning and everybody's growing. I'm not saying that, but. I think there was something basic there. There is something basic there. Yeah. <laughs> Why aren't you in the picture for Stampede? Because I was still in both bands, Steely Dan and the Doobie Brothers, and I was just making the transition. Okay. Uh, well, at first, someone had told me a long time ago, when I was, you know, before the internet, people say things, they go, oh, uh, uh, maybe Skunk can uh, dr uh, ride a horse. I'm going, R what? what? Uh, no, I grew up in Mexico. I, I learned to ride at a very early age. How'd your parents react to your success? My dad is, was always very supportive, uh, extremely supportive. Uh, plus, he understood the whole media business. I don't know if you ever saw Mad Men. The, that was my dad. Wow. Uh, w without the issues. Without the issues. He was senior executive vice president of J. Walter Thompson which at the time was the largest advertising agency in the world. So he really understood what I was doing. Yes, he would have been, he had my life planned out for me in a, in a certain way, which is what fathers do. And I've done that for my children, but it's, it's uh, the choice was mine. And certainly he was, going, you know, a couple of times things were rocky. I mean, you're living in a crappy apartment, you're doing gigs for nothing. And, you know, but he was there. Uh, my mom, bless her heart, um, she was never quite sure what the hell I was doing. But when we played the forum in um, Los Angeles with the Doobies and I invited her to come, she got a chance to meet Cher. And now she could tell the girls at the country club that, you know, her son was was successful, I guess. She met who? Cher? You worked with Cher. Yeah. Yeah. But, she, but Cher had come down to the to the show. And uh, <clears throat> backstage. And so, yeah, she got to meet her. And I guess <clears throat> I guess that was the, the, the milestone for her or whatever. And, and again, I love my mom. She was she only wanted the best for me. There's no doubt about it. Remember, we'll have more of our new second interview, which was 90 minutes. One of the most interesting men I have ever spoken to. And not only rock and roll, but in my 40 years in radio, he's like one of the most he's like in the top three. What an incredible mind. We'll have more from him in the next two, three days. Make sure you comment on our videos. We read all the comments, of course. Share our videos on social media. If you're part of a Doobie Brothers or Steely Dan group, 
or classic rock group, please share our videos on there or on your Facebook. Buy our t-shirts. It helps support the channel. All the money goes to advertising this channel. And of course, subscribe to our channel. We'd appreciate that. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.